Well, if I can't do that, I can always go the other way, I guess, and make everything else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, some other things to think about. These half blocks. If I remember right, yeah, they do. They actually block all light. So, <laughs> I mean, that's a bit strange. So you can see. You know, light behind it, but you know, they they don't let the light through out here. So that might be something interesting to do. We can have let me just do that, and then put in the the half so we can have some pretty bright areas on the wall without actually making the light here any different that might be useful for some contrast if we take this out oh I'm still on I still have smooth lighting off. So you know that that's a lot brighter than this. Actually let me just turn that back on. Oops, wrong button. Uh not that you really notice the difference. So you can do that, and that appears bright. Even though it's not actually bright. So it's almost daytime now, and the light should start streaming through that in a bit. Maybe this needs to be deeper, in order to have enough space up here for the shadows. I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, there's those for now, and I can... You know, there was also a suggestion to use water to attenuate the, the light, because water will subtract two light levels from each block, but I've been thinking about that. I think that by the time you put any water down, you know, there's not enough space already, because this, this is already 8, and that's 14. If you imagine the torch was there, and the water was there, 14... 13, minus 2, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so there's one more block. But, you know, there's not much space left afterwards. If I use any sort of water to, to put between the light and the space as well, so... Yeah, I don't know if there's enough space for that. Anyway, that's the daylight coming through there. Interesting. Interesting, in combination with the torches. I don't, anyway, things to think about. There's one more thing I want to do before we post this video. Which is one more idea that I have. And it's going to be a bit difficult to to show. Let me get back up here. And... Huh, well that's, that's kind of a bit off, isn't it? Unless the dirt wall is... Yeah, the dirt wall's a bit off. Wow. This lag is terrible. Anyway, let me dig down whoa okay and let me actually close that off and let 
me also make a shape. go back up and move that until it's only above that hole. And we need to um, put more dirt down as well. So if we do that with the light, oh. wow, just wow. And then we move the glass plane, glass panes, until it's only over the. this bit here, and I can't even see it. Um. Yeah, I can't. I can't see it. I think it's like there. Nope. No, it's further along, I think. Uh. Wow. It's it's right there. What am I doing? I didn't quite think this through, did I? Is it... have I got it? Or is it one more block to... I think I got it. Okay, let me let me just double check. Uh. Yep, I got it. All right, so let's see. I should remove the torches down there as well, I think. So let's just take away all the light down here. No, it's not working because there's a glass up there. And I really don't want to break the glass just to show you what this is meant to do. There's glass up there, so the light is leaking through the glass and down here. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it, it really is just coming out of there. But anyway, Yeah, that's, that's, that's not working right because there's glass there. Unless I cover all of that up, which I can, 
Sorry about this. Let me let me just try to get this right. We just do that, and we make it so that the light is only coming out of that window there. Uh, never mind. It's kind of all right, but it's not as good as I was hoping it would be. Again, like, you know, the light just leaks out a little too much. Let's just check that it's all correct. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. So the light's coming out of here. But again, you know, the light, it, it doesn't travel in a straight line. In the real world, light travels in a straight line. But in Minecraft, it, it just kind of leaks outwards. Anyway, things to things to think about. I, I don't have any, you know, actual answers yet as to how to make this or how to make light look awesome in this game because it is so strange. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear ideas if you have any. But just keep in mind how things you know, look when you use light to do anything in this game. And you know, consider the way it leaks outward, so you know, if you have a torch there, the light will turn the corner instead of in the real world where it wouldn't, it will cast a shadow. Uh, yeah, alright, I'll be, yeah, I'm interested, interested to hear if anyone's got any good ideas about what to do, keeping in mind how light works in this game. And I've got plenty to think about myself. And actually, that's kind of good during the night, actually. No, it just glows a little bit. And maybe that just means I need to need it to um, attenuate the light a bit, not have a full brightness coming out of that. Maybe. See now, now it's actual night time. It's a little bit too dark. But if we put a torch there, that's kind of nice. You know, having the light come out like that. But again, you know, it, it works only in contrast when everything else is way too dark. And I need to be careful how I do this because, you know, I don't want monsters spawning. I can use water because monsters don't spawn on water, I believe. I can also use the slabs, like monsters won't spawn onto slabs no matter how dark they are, because they're counted as translucent, because, you know, that it's half, you know, empty. But I don't want to rely on that in case that you know, they fix it, because, it's, you know, it's not a... I don't think it's an intended feature, right? Anyway, there's that for now. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, comments are... And, and suggestions are welcome, and I'll keep digging, it's going to take a long time, unfortunately. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit.